Let's move on to the surprise of the year. And I think we went different ways in this. Because I went happy surprise. I didn't. I you did went, negative you surprise. You went not, not so happy a surprise. <laughs> which, well, is, which is the perfect way to do it. Um, well, because I'm a pessimist at art. Yeah. I'm like, glass half full, glass half yeah. empty. What What is your biggest surprise so far in the 2015 high school? Well, I, w I could have went with Leo here. I already went with Leo for team of the year. So that kind of would have been my surprise, my main surprise with Leo being 5-0. and Mine has been just how far Norwell and Wayne have dropped. Norwell goes 6-7, and seven, wins the sectional championship last year. Yeah, they graduated a lot, but you expected, okay, they're going to at least put some competitive team on the field, and they haven't. And same with Wayne. Uh, they lose a ton to graduation, a new coach, but – I guess they got Austin Roberts in a build around, although you know, he hasn't seen action in every game this year. Okay, they're going to have something. And the momentum that they got from last year's co-SAC championship is going to build something. And they just haven't. And those, that is my surprise of the year is I thought Norwell would be more competitive. I thought Wayne would be more competitive. I'll give you some props. Those are two, if I was to go the pessimistic route, those are two very interesting surprises. Because I thought, I was like you, I thought Wayne with Austin Roberts, who else would you rather build around than that guy yeah, in yeah. the state of Indiana? I like what Derek Moore brought to practice. I just, I thought they would be better. Yeah, yeah. Bottom line. Yeah, it, you know, and sometimes you just, I don't know they had to go young, but, you know, sometimes they just do not look competitive out there, and it's just, it's surprising to me. My biggest surprise, and you were, you've been on a Dwenger kick today, so you're going to enjoy this. I had Dwenger at 4-1. and one. Because like you said, we didn't know what they were getting after last year. It didn't end the way they wanted it to. Chris Schwarzkopf now not on the sidelines. I guess the way that they brought in Ernie Bozrab to run the head coaching position has kept all the coordinators, all the assistant coaches in their position. So maybe it's not as much upheaval on the coaching staff as we would think right. with having a new head coach. Because uh, they kind of know what they're doing out there at Bishop. A little bit. Um, but that's been the biggest surprise to me. And the way that they've improved, I think, since, since week one. I've just been impressed with what they've been able to do. Yeah, and it's similar to Leo in that you look at that group and you're saying, well, who really scares you on that team? Mon Clark, a tremendous player, but he's, you're looking down on him you know, when you're talking to him, and most teams are. Uh, Blake Pachoni has done a good job, a steady presence. That quarterback really shown growth from his sophomore year. Uh, but it is just a fundamentally sound football team. It's not going to beat themselves. They take advantage of the mistakes like they did in the Homestead game, and Homestead continued to turn it over in the first half, and Dwanger, to, and Dwanger took advantage. And uh, Props to them because the way they ended last year, just that, that, that schedule was murder. I yeah. mean, it was crazy that second half of the year. And, you know, they come out and lose to Lures in the in first week, and you're saying, well, you know, the, the wheels could very well come off here week, week one and week two, and they haven't. I also had Adam Central because – I. At the beginning of last year, I picked South Adams to be a tough team, and it took them a while, but in the playoffs, they were tough. I thought the same thing would happen this year with Adams Central. I didn't realize it was going to start in week one, yeah. and they would be this good this early because they've been dominant. I mean, 41-zip against Heritage last week, and you're talking about Heritage, the top half ACAC team. I mean, they oh, I mean, 19-9 Heritage and Woodland. I mean, you know, That's, that defense yeah. was able to hold it, and then and Adam Central drops 41 on them. Adam Central's been good. Yeah. Adam Central's been good. I'll be really interested to see how well they fare during the playoffs. I think that's going to be the biggest test for them, aside from that Woodland game um, yeah. at the end of the regular season, which is going to be a, a championship decider. I also had Belmont. Four and one so far this season. I know the toughest part of their schedule is yet to come, uh, but they've got the one loss by one point to Adam Central, and then they've run the table, and they have done it with a little bit more pass. We've seen highlights on Friday night of Belmont passing. I don't know <laughs> when I could say that before, but Larry Getz is kind of mixing it up and, and working with the personnel that he has. Yes, and they'll have their first big test. Uh, I think they at Leo on Friday. Mm -hmm. So that's, and they have also have to play New Haven and East Noble still. But, you know, for a group that, you know, a team that I still, you fly under the radar, them and, and DeKalb and Columbia City, it's so hard to pick every week because you just don't know what to expect. And, and, you know, Belmont has been consistently good through the first half of the season. We'll see if they can carry that momentum into a more difficult second half. All right, it is week six. If there's one thing that you're looking forward to going forward, what is it? It's, a t it's kind of a weird week. You know, there's not really too many marquee games other than, you know, you got Carroll, Lures, you know, and, um, you know, Snyder, the Snyder Homestead, mm -hmm. too. Other than that, it's kind of a little bit of a lean week. I, interesting thing that jumps out of me is Concordia because they're sitting there one and four. And I look at it, and, you know, most years, you know, our, for argument's sake, Concordia could be the second best team in Class 3A behind Bishop Lures and have, like, six or seven losses in the regular right. season. You know? I mean, it's just so difficult for them. It's, it's brutal. And, you know, talking to Coach Manigo, he said, you know, I used to like it being, I could say, we're going to go four and five, but it's going to prepare us for the playoffs and stuff. And he's like, now I really can't say that anymore. 
Now I just, it, it stinks. It's, it, you know, we could be so good. We could be better this year than last year. But we, I think they are. I, I think so, too. And they're sitting there one and four. And, yeah, the, the schedule gets a little bit easier here in the second half for them. But, you know, they could easily win at least three games of their final four regular season games. But, man, it's just, it's so difficult for Concordia. And you feel for them sometimes because, you know, Lures, yes, they're a 3A school. But Lures has the tradition and the a consistent power. And you see there at Concordia, and it's just like every week you're, you know, just get just beat down by four, five, six, eight schools. Yeah. It, so we'll see what they do. It's a tough road to hold. We'll have to see how they fare in the playoffs. But, again, you know, you got Lures, they got Garrett. They've got some teams locally in that 3A that, that are just going to be tough to get past. Yeah. Um, uh, it's tough if a good – And you're probably their luck, team. they'll draw Lures in the first round. Well, they gave them a scare last they did. year. They did. They did. They gave them a heck of a scare. That they was did. probably the best first round game we had last year. Yeah. Um, well, that'll do it for this week's edition of Inside the Zone as we pass, pass out the old midseason awards next week. We're going to be talking about week six. Looking forward to week seven. Hard to believe that we're already that Rolling right along, along, aren't we? In the season. We are. For Justin, I'm Glenn. We'll see you next Monday.